Welcome to the ID14 Quick Start Guide. In this video, I will go over ID14's hardware features as well as how to install it on your computer. Inside the box alongside ID14, you will find a printed Quick Start Guide, a 1.5 meter Type A to Type B USB cable, and a 12 volt power adapter along with multiple connectors for international power sockets. Now to go over the hardware features. Both of ID14's preamps have individual gain knobs and full 48 volt phantom power toggle switches. It is worth noting that because of power restrictions over USB and the requirements of the high quality mic pre's and converters, phantom power is only enabled when using the 12 volt power supply. On the back panel there are two combi jack connectors which allow either mic or line level signals into the preamps. There is also an optical input which will accept both SPDIF and ADAT from an external device. This means that you can expand ID14 up to a total of 10 input channels, including the two mic preamps already on the device. The speaker outputs are fed from high quality Burr Brown digital to analog converters and can be controlled in both hardware and software. On the front of ID14, there is an easily accessible DI input. The DI input uses JFET transistor circuitry, offering subtle tube-like tones for a bit of added color. The headphone output uses the same acclaimed headphone amplifier as in ID22, using a separate DAC and with full hardware and software control over the output level. To the right of the preamps you have the monitoring section. Here there is the encoder knob as well as the encoder buttons which select what the encoder is controlling. These are the speaker, the ID and the headphone buttons. There is also a meter which will display the level of ID14's main mix. With the speaker or headphone encoder button pressed, the encoder will control the level of that output. As you rotate the encoder, the meters on ID14 will display the position for a couple of seconds before changing back to show the mix level again. The ID button is configurable in software to act as a hardware function button to control talkback, dim, mono and a few other settings. However, it can also be used to provide scroll control, which allows you to use the encoder as a virtual scroll wheel, perfect for altering plugin parameters and writing automation in a more hands-on way. ID14 has been designed to run off bus power using the USB connection. This connection can be verified by looking at the status light, which will be solidly lit if connected to a computer. Finally, ID14 has a Kensington lock slot on the right hand side, perfect for if you are using it in a public place or a place of education for example, and you want to secure it. To install the ID app, first download the application from our website, found here. On a Mac, double click on the downloaded DMG file and then drag the ID app into your applications folder. Then plug ID14 into the computer using the USB cable provided and open the application. If you're using Windows, double click on the downloaded file to open the installer and then follow the instructions. It will prompt you to plug in ID14 during the installation. After it's finished, please reboot the PC to make sure that all the drivers are applied. Once you have opened the app, making sure that ID14 is connected as you do so, an ID icon will appear in the system tray in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. To open the mixer window if it is closed, double click on this icon or the application in the start menu. Sample rate, latency and buffer size settings can also be quickly changed here by right clicking on the ID icon. When you open the app for the first time, you could be prompted to run a firmware update. This will automatically happen whenever there is a major firmware update providing your computer is connected to the internet. You can also do this manually by going to help in the menu bar, then clicking check for updates and making sure that from audient.com is selected. Then you can just follow the process through. You'll need to quit the ID app and turn off and on ID14 to make sure the update has been applied. This can be done by just unplugging the USB connection if you're on bus power, or unplugging both the USB and the 12 volt power adapter. Please check out our other videos to learn more about ID14, the ID Mixer app, and also door specific setup guides. We're also constantly adding to our help center with frequently asked questions and useful guides and tips on how to get the most out of ID14.